Yo, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back to Envision, the most positive place in all the internet. And we're back at the OG Park. You see the OG Park right here? It's like somewhere out there. It's like you can't see it, but it's it's out there. I promise. <laughs> you got the playground in the back. All right, so this is like the last, last or the second last park video out here. I came back, by the way. I'm on vacation still, but I came back. You know, all around the places. Anyways, I'm having fun. It's a great time. So I want to tell you something that um, I learned, okay? Um, it took me a long time to learn this, but it's something that will curb your resentment in life. This actually started my journey, okay? This was one of the facts that I was like, yeah, I don't want to talk about it now. I'm too bitter. Let me go ahead and change myself first. <laughs> Let me go ahead and change my life first. And then, you know, I'll come back to this topic when I'm actually going to give you helpful advice and not be bitter and resentful. So what I want to talk to you about is curbing your resentment, right? By understanding your fulfillment in life, right? Understanding your fulfillment in life is important. Fulfillment is what gives you contentment and you feel like your life means something, right? You don't sit there and go, woe is me. Why is my life this way? What's the whole point? I'm unhappy, all that stuff. That stuff comes from not understanding your fulfillment, not having fulfillment, not being content in life, not doing the things you want to do. You're just going through the day, uh, through the day to day. You feel like a slave. OK, and so I want to define fulfillment. You know, it's what matters to you. OK, fulfillment is ultimately what matters to you. Um, I wrote it down because I want to make sure I got that one right. Um, that's something that comes from the heart. You know, everything from this channel comes from the heart. But this is I wanted to make sure I got it down verbatim. Um, Ask yourself the big questions in life. What matters to you? Once you do that, you have the first steps you need to get to where you want to get to in life. You can't get to over here if you don't understand what you value right here and here and here. OK, you can't you can't do it. You have to have those pieces. Those pieces are necessary. They're important. They're imperative. And so you uh, you you make a bucket list in your life out of those things. That's the that's the building blocks of your bucket list of your uh, you know goals in life of your dreams or whatever you want to achieve. You have all those pieces down. You look at everything you have and you're like, these are my values. And now you can formate what you want. You can formulate what you want. You can create the things you want. You can become the person you want. All those things are possible once you have those building blocks. What do I value? What matters to me? My family uh, or is it your job? Hopefully it's not your job. You know, you look at even if it is your job, you actually understand the, the problems you have circulating based on your fulfillment. Like if your fulfillment, your priorities are in the wrong spot, you can see it on paper. Once you write it down, you will see it's now less abstract and more possible, more understanding and more changeable if you want to change it. And so you get more, you get power back in your life, control back in your life, right? Things are more clearer to you. That's why I always say, write it down. You're not sure about it, write it down. If it's abstract to you, write it down. If it's bo bothering you, write it down. Um, you know, create those purposes in your life by having it in front of you. And now you have a goal to reach. Now you can research that goal. You can start making those steps you need in life. Um, but it all starts with fulfillment. Find out what your fulfillment is. What gives you fulfill fulfillment? It's not something that will come right away, obviously. That comes with time. Keep writing it. Keep, you know, trying new things. You'll find yourself enjoying new things. You'll find yourself enjoying different kinds of things. And then you keep building from there and you will become a different person. You will become somebody different. You will enjoy yourself in different environments and people and all that stuff. Anyways, that's my opinion. What's yours? Let me know in the comment section below. Appreciate your time. Have a great day. God bless.